The time has come. The famous TV series Silicon Valley has become reality. Today, we are making the first public announcement about Aleph, a data compression technology that we believe will change the digital world. And uh, although the beginning is very similar to the series, we believe that the scenario will be different, a better one. So what is Aleph? Aleph is a new lossless data compression. So uh, it brings you twice more storage, twice more bandwidth, and twice less mobile data traffic. And uh, this is with the same computational resources and memory as you would use uh, as a conventional data compressor. So this is uh, the famous LENA. It's a standard test image that is used in image processing. And no compression algorithm can reduce the size of less of LENA by more than 1%. Neither Google's Broccoli nor Facebook Z standard. But Aleph achieved the astonishing 40% of space saving, reducing the pre-compressed JPEG image uh, by almost a half. That, that's a very important result. So how does it work? The concept is quite beautiful. You have, um, so le le let's, uh, let's imagine you are sending um, a message, a text or an image, uh, a digital message. Uh, we take the pi number, uh, the pi mathematical number, which is um, an irrational number of an infinite length, if you would uh, write it down in a digital form like this. Since it is infinite, there is always a chance that you can find your message within this infinite string. Uh, so maybe after billionth or trillionth of digits, uh, you will find any data, maybe all the data that was ever created on the Earth. So the real trick is to find it. So our discovery in computational mathematics made it possible. It is now possible to find any binary string within a pi number or other irrational numbers like this uh, within uh, microseconds. Uh, so the pi number becomes your virtual memory stick where you can store your photos or files forever. So this graph illustrates compression factors of uh, different algorithms. On the right side, you have uh, the state of the art. You have uh, 7-zip, Z-standard, and Broadly. And uh, they give you a compression factor of about 5 to 6 uh, if we compress Wikipedia. So th this test here is about compressing Wikipedia text and images. This test was created by German mathematician Markus Hatter, who set up a prize of 50,000 euros to uh, gain extra compression. So over the years, scientists uh, uh, made achievements, so they gained 3 to 6 percent and got prize for it. But Aleph um, achieved the astonishing 56 percent uh, at once. So th there are three columns here. Aleph 3 is a high speed compressor uh, which uh, doubles the compression time. Uh, Aleph 9 is the, um, the version algorithm you, we used for Hatter test and um, it gained the uh, 15x uh, compression factor. And finally, we have Aleph 9i which is an academic uh, compressor. It, it is quite slow, but it gives you uh, the, um, the limit how much you can compress the human knowledge. So let me explain you uh, what, what, uh, what this discovery means to the industry, to the information uh, theory. Uh, Aleph Kodak uh, sets a new standard for Kolmogorov complexity. Andrei Kolmogorov defined complexity 
as uh, the length of the shortest program that can produce the data. So here on this slide you can uh, see an image. It's a fractal image discovered by Benoît Meldebrot. And uh, as you zoom in, you would see infinite details, infinite roughness and structure, uh, and you will discover more and more fractal uh, within this image. So if you try to store this image uh, uh, as a bitmap, you would need an infinite amount of memory. But uh, if you do it by uh, using the, um, the equation, the, uh, the re Benoit discovered a very simple equation on the top that generate this image. So that means that the uh, Kolmogorov complexity of this image is just few bytes, the size of the program that generates this image. So the same applies to, 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 to pi. So you can generate the pi number uh, by uh, short programs, and you can store your data within the pi in a very efficient manner. So three months ago, I couldn't believe that. Uh, with my PhD in information theory, that was uh, not possible. So that's, but now I see it's working. Another discovery we made is that this new algorithm can compress the mainstream uh, web traffic, which is encrypted by the advanced encryption standard. This is very fundamental because uh, uh, by, uh, mm, uh, uh, by definition, the, the, the cipher text, the encrypted text, is non-compressible because no one could, can see the structure. But the al Aleph algorithm can see uh, patterns and can discover, uh, um, can discover uh, the information that can be compressed. So uh, the impact to the modern cryptography is yet to, uh, to, to, to be studied. Our last test showed that we can com compress uh, uh, ciphertext by the factor of four, meaning that three-fourths of the text can be removed. So the algorithm somehow knows what can be removed. So what we do now? Uh, we work in three directions. Well, the first one, we develop a mobile app and VPN service uh, to save uh, mobile traffic. So in certain uh, countries like Indonesia, where uh, traffic is expensive, uh, we would like to, uh, to let our clients to save the amount of, um, of traffic transmitted from the phones. The second uh, direction is video streaming. We are developing a new video codec and streaming service that will deliver video content to locations with uh, limited bandwidth, uh, or we can uh, increase the amount of, um, uh, of video resolution, the, the quality of video to be transmitted. And finally, uh, we, we work in big data. We integrate Aleph codec in Ceph uh, this uh, open source uh, object storage to allow any cloud to use uh, uh, Ceph algorithm and to double or triple the amount of information we store. So this, this is our plan for, the, uh, for this year. So I'm Nikolai here. I think we got time, so I will be happy to uh, um, answer your question here now on, on SIN or we can carry on. Uh, during the Q&A session. Who got questions? Thank you. Uh, hello. So as far as I understand, uh, you have to, to compress the information. You have to store two uh, digits. One is the position in the P number, and the second is the length, which you take uh, from this starting position to get back all the information. That Correct. You have. In, yes? in simple terms, yes. We, we do store this index within the pi number and the length of the sequence to be encoded. Uh, so is it possible that uh, the position, the number uh, which contains position, would be so big that it would be bigger than the information which you tried to compress? Correct. Yes, that happens. 
sometimes uh, we, uh, we cannot find uh, um, the data to be encoded within uh, the pine number we, uh, we work in, the, the, this working range, uh, meaning that the index to record this position will be too far away. So no compression occurs if you replace the data by the index. Uh, but that happens uh, uh, quite, um, in, um, only in 20 to 30 percent of the time. So most data is compressed this way uh, and um, uh, we gain these extraordinary compression factors up to 25x. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I've got a question. Okay. Um, could you, I'm a, I'm a product manager actually, um, and I just have a question regarding the use cases of what you're building. You've mentioned three dimensions, like this mobile VPN, um, video streaming, and yeah, big data, data storage. What's your priorities at the moment, and what maybe you could like, Give me more granular, granular example of okay. what you're building. Okay. Uh, in fact, my priority now for this project is to meet uh, large IT companies uh, because uh, this is how we can uh, monetize and uh, 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 spread the technology fast. Uh, it will be faster than developing our own product from scratch. But these products, they will uh, illustrate how it works and uh, that will make it available for, for, for public usage. So, um, in theory, we can uh, uh, introduce this technology to any um, cloud service or mobile app just to reduce the traffic and to reduce the, um, um, the, the, the requirements for, for, for persistent storage. Yeah, now I understand, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, thank you. So my uh, contact numbers are here. Uh, please leave me to, to text me.